Everybody knows that franchise development is challenging, and I get questions all the time as far as marketing, content marketing, where I should spend my money, and what type of results can I expect. And the question really becomes understanding the candidate journey and understanding how people are going through the process when they're selecting a franchise. So the, one of the first things I talk to people about is that you're going to have the first stage of a candidate, which is going to be discovery, the discovery phase. And in the discovery phase, people are beginning to do light research. What I mean by light research is they hear about a brand, they go to a website, they go to the consumer site. Um, they don't necessarily will fill out information. They may not inquire. They're just trying to learn more about the brand. Um, they're going to look at you know, you, how you're online, and they may look at find out about you, learn more about you from PR, um, and they're just gathering light information. As they progress in this, um, there's going to be what I call a trigger moment. So they've got data and information, and then a trigger moment occurs. A trigger moment basically takes somebody who has done light research and now they're ready to take this seriously. They're really going to look for a franchise and they're going to spend the time to do the due diligence and begin to um, explore this opportunity. So that trigger moment can be triggered by many different things. It could be a change of jobs. It could be capital infusion, personal capital infusion. It just could be timing. They're ready to start doing this. So now that this person moves into the trigger, mo you know, trigger moments and whatever creates that trigger moment will lead to what I like to call the engagement period. So in the engagement period is where people will start to do their serious um, discovery and information. Here's where someone may, in this phase, may look um, more in depth at your franchise information. They may download your PDF. They're gathering as much information as they possibly can. They still may remain anonymous. So they may be going to your website and they're coming back. So you'll see this increase in traffic. They're looking for second level information. So in, in the discovery phase, they're looking at what does this brand do? How are they different? Um, and you know, they're just kind of getting very surface level information. And engagement now becomes investment. How much can I make? What are success rates? and they're looking for franchise validation. So that's where come videos and content can be very impactful. Then finally, the last final stage is the selection process. So now that they've gone through their engagement period, their, their due diligence period, now they're selecting specific franchises. And they'll typically look at three different types of brands. It could be same industry, it could be different industry, but they're really filtering down to a very specific brands. This is where you'll see the final real serious candidates come into play. So they're inquiring. This is the FDD stage, discovery day, discovery day visits. Um, and this is where, you know, the whole candidate journey process takes place. Now, moving over to this section kind of illustrates um, where the kind of mass of the candidates can be in. So this section here would illustrate people that do not have the capital, do not have the, the skill sets to do it, and so they'll probably never be a franchisee or never should be. This section here is going to be candidates that may have money and may have the skill set, but they may not, and they may not have hit that trigger moment. So this area right here will represent a lot of your, dis your discovery phase people. So this is where a lot of these candidates are at today. At some moment, there's that trigger moment that occurs that this group of people here decide that it's ready to, they're ready to do a franchise. Could be the capital, could be, the, you know, again, the timing is right. And then they move over to here, which is the engagement phase, representing this area here. Again, as they progress through the process, they finally become a franchisee with your brand. So the question I get all the time is where should I spend my money? How do I market? What type of uh, content should I be providing people? And what we've seen historically is this is where all the money is being spent. So this is PPC. This is the portals. This is where 90% of the franchisees are spending their money. Now, if you think about this process here, they're in this engagement and they're all of a sudden they're in the selection section 
they've already kind of nailed it, narrowed it down to three or four brands that they've learned in this section here. So what you're trying to do is everybody's competing and trying to intercept these people and say, no, don't buy the brand that you found interesting, buy my brand. And so it's much more challenging. It can be very expensive and everybody's spending their money. Where brands that are consistently growing and doing well, and what I mean by that is that you don't see this large influx of growth and then stop and then growth and stop. There's this consistent growth pattern is focusing on providing information, content, and marketing to this big, larger group of people. This is where content marketing, email campaigns will be the most effective. Social media will have the most impact. And the goal here is to educate the people um, and try to move and create those special trigger moments so that they're engaged to step forward. And when they step into this period and they're doing their selection, their serious due diligence, that you're in that three or four category and eventually winning them as a franchisee. So you may be asking, okay, where did I get this information? How do I learn about this? I've been in franchising for over 25 years, and this is based off of a lot of data that I've collected, ex personal experiences, talking to candidates, and trying to understand the entire process of selecting and buying a franchise. The thing to remember is this overall strategy and process stays the same. The candidate discovery and how they discover and how they get information doesn't change. The only thing that changes maybe the tactics and technology. So today, you know, retargeting campaigns on your website are, can be very, very effective because people are coming and visiting and getting information. Customizing content for those users and experience. So trying to get information for people who are in the discovery phase versus in the selection or engagement phase. So catering your message to that audience is gonna derive better results. So if you wanna learn more about how to use content marketing more effectively in your franchise development campaigns, visit 1851franchise.com for more articles, content, and stories. Thank you.